Today I'll be teaching you how to make a car system just like this one inside of Roblox Studio. It has gears, sounds and works with physics. So today I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. Okay, so to begin with, get the download in the description and access this world, this place here. And you'll get a car just like this. Now this is the default car. And what we're going to be doing today is teaching you how to make it into your own car. So let me grab a model which I'm going to use. Okay, so here's the car I've added. It's a plain car mesh. It's made out of two mesh parts, one for the window and one for the actual car. And I've removed the wheels from it because we're going to be using the wheels from this car. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the vehicles tab here. And inside vehicles, we have car. Inside of car, we're going to go to our model section and we're going to delete the body here, just like this. And then what we can do is we can select our body from our car, the two mesh parts, not the model, drag it over and somewhat align it to our model. So I'm going to align so these wheels work correctly. So we can align it using the move tool here. If you have struggled and it's like jolting around, head over to model and turn off this checkbox here. That will then allow you to be a bit more free when moving stuff around. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from beneath and everything and we're going to ensure that these are lined up correctly and that nothing's touching. I think that's close enough. There we go. That looks pretty realistic. I'm going to raise the roof a little bit just like this. And there we go. Now these wheels are not in line but that's fine for now. We're going to sort that out in a minute. What we're going to do is we then select these two mesh parts and we're going to drag them out of our model here and then we're going to drag them into this model here. And what that will do is it will connect it. Now these two things aren't connected, to connect it we press add on this little button here and add a weld constraint and we're going to weld with this constraint here, we're going to weld part 0 as itself and part 1 as the other part and we're going to do the same, we're going to duplicate this and then we're going to do weld itself and then head over into the chassis section here and put the part 1 as the platform, that is the driver seat almost this thing in the middle here. Now let's sort out how these wheels are arranged. To do this, there's two different parts. There's wheels in here, which are the physical looking wheels, and these are welded to the chassis wheels which are in here. Now these chassis wheels include attachments as well. And along with these attachments, there's also inside the platform, there's attachments here and here. Now these attachments here and here, they connect to the springs and the cylinders. Now these springs can um, define how elasticated the car suspension is. And the cylinders here, these cylinders allow for the uh, twisting motion. As I said, this is a physics-based system. Now, we need to select each of these. So we do front left, front left, right up here with the attachments. Same with the attachments here. And these two wheels here. And I recommend doing the springs and the cylinders as well. I don't think that will change if you select them or not, but I recommend it. And then we just drag these across into our desired place, just like that. And what that will do is make sure that our wheel's in our right place. So now if we test the car, it should be functioning. And here we go. As we can see, we're driving our car very slowly. I'm still in the first gear. And the car is functioning correctly. Now let's tell you how you can increase the speed, the torque, and loads of different other features on the car. So this is where the config script here comes in. If you double click on this, you can access all of these different bits of code. So if you don't know what torque is, it's used quite a lot in cars. So you can increase this um, to increase speed. Max steering angle here. Obviously that's self-explanatory. It's in degrees. So you can go 50 if you want to make it twist a bit better. And that turn speed, I like to increase that quite a bit to 3. We can also config the sounds the car makes. If you go to the chassis here, inside of the in the uh, engine area here, this is a constraint, and this here is sorry, not constraint, a attachment, and this here is where the engine noise comes from. As you can see, we have an engine noise. If we press play here, we can hear the engine noise, and that will rev depending on different things. Um, we can also, if we want to. We can add loads of different other features, like we can increase the spring height, we can do loads of different other things that help the vehicle drive. So let's say we want to go to the spring, we can actually change the length for dampening the free length. I'm not going to do this, and stiffness, I'm not going to do this. If you know anything about the physics engine, then I recommend going in and checking it out. But if you don't like me, I wouldn't bother. You can also make it visible if you want, if you want to make it a visible thing. I don't know, sometimes people like that, I don't really like that very much. 
but I can't find it now. I think it's the this here. Yeah. Some people like that. I don't really like it very much, but I'm gonna yeah. If for some reason you want to change the wheels, you perfectly can. You just change in the model here, not the chassis. The chassis can be closer now. We go to the model, and these things we can change depending, get a mesh for a wheel, and we can simply drag it into place and make sure it's in the same place as the chassis wheels. We can change it to whatever we like, just make sure we can straight with a weld onto the chassis wheel. Um, and that is the wheels sorted, and that is how you change the vehicle. If it's not a single mesh, it works exactly the same way, just make sure it's all welded together and connect it onto the chassis. I thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.